How's it going everyone? We are out prospecting again. It's a nice rainy morning, overcast, lots of fog. So we're in a new area. We staked this claim last year. We've only ever spent one day on it. Uh, we just got so busy, but now we're here taking a look at everything. So you can see you have some uh, Nice azurite staining here, a little bit of blue, a little bit of malachite staining as well over here. Nice little calcite vein running down there. Uh, you have some quartz mixed with diorite, granodiorite, andesite. Uh, you got some epidotized rock here. So there's lots of uh, different bands of rock and uh, little bits of mineralization all over in fractures. We found a few samples with pyrite so far, but uh, we found a couple nice ones uh, with some quartz on them. So let's take a look at uh, a couple of the samples we found. All right, so quartz with malachite. Calcopyrite on this piece here. A few little bits of calcopyrite in there with quartz, calcite. Got your azurite staining there, your blue, like on the wall, and uh, some azurite in there. Not intensely mineralized, but there's a decent enough mineral in there for a sample. So we got a bit there. So this was from two small rocks. They, by the fractures, they looked like it was the same rock that had just been broken in half. So we're going to send all these pieces in here for a uh, ICP fire safe for gold. And we'll see what's in them. And we'll keep going on this little road. Check out in the forest a bit and see what we find. So uh, you're in a zone here where the mineralization has kind of stopped. And uh, we still have found a sample down here. So we're not sure where this is exactly from because it doesn't really match the rock type slightly off. But you have calcopyrite. Decent amount too. So we'll still send this in for a sample even though we don't know where it's from. Nice float sample. So this will be sample number two. So we're a bit farther on the logging road. More granitic the rock. Uh, but you can see a little bit of iron pyrite right there and right there but uh, nothing crazy a little bit of oxidization won't bother taking this okay so nice intrusion of quartz However, it is not mineralized, uh, but this sample here is, you have iron pyrite and maybe calcopyrite in there. We'll hammer it open to see if there's anything a little bit better than that. So, a little bit here, iron pyrite. Nothing crazy, but we'll still uh, take this sample and catalog it. So, 
can see all these little patches here of oxidization. You have iron pyrite. Looks like there may be a little bit of chalcopyrite in there, but not too much. You can tell by the oxidization, chalcopyrite is a very stable mineral, so it doesn't tend to oxidize. At least uh, not to a rusty looking color like that. A more of an iridescent tarnish. So definitely mostly pyrite, nothing that's worthwhile. Uh, just a few little blubs, haven't found too much else here. So we'll keep going. So what it's looking like is you have lots and lots of fractures in here and it looks like your iron pyrite is actually forming in fractures. There's no crazy mineralization here, so keep going, see what else we can find. So, more iron pyrite in quartz. So we're finding lots of uh, rocks like this with iron pyrite all over the place. So we're going to hammer a few. There's tons and tons of grab samples here. Uh, all over the place, so we'll see uh, what we find. So, here's part of the exposure. Got lots of uh, oxidized rock with quartz veins, mineral in your quartz veins and in your host rock. I mean, it is very spotty. There's no solid defining veins of mineral that are more than a couple centimeters wide. This one here is probably about three centimeters wide. Uh, so, still not sure what we're doing with this claim, whether we're gonna renew it for a bit more, do some trenching, we'll see. So we got six samples here, a couple of our chip samples from the exposure. And uh, the rest are grab samples. So you can see you have iron pyrite all throughout some of these. Fairly oxidized, a little bit difficult to see. It's quite a bit in there. Next sample has some uh, malachite and azurite staining on it, and uh, little bits of chalcopyrite all the way throughout. Nothing intense for mineral though. Again, more your iron pyrite. Primarily amongst your quartz are in uh, fractures. And over here you have iron pyrite and pyrotite. Throughout quartz. Next sample here, probably one of the better ones for Chalcopyrite. Again, you have your malachite, azurite staining. Again, in quartz. Here you have a nice big hunk of fine green iron pyrite. Maybe some sphalerite right in there too. So we'll have to do some testing for zinc as well.
And we have a nice big sample here with iron pyrite, pyrotite. So those are the samples. So last sample here, we just spotted on the way out. Heavily oxidized. Looks like it's got uh, some minor amounts of mineralization there. Hammer it open, see if there's anything. Doesn't look like it's too crazy, but uh, if it is, we'll catalog it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. You want to see more from this property? Head over to our second channel. Link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to all our patrons for your support. We really appreciate you. And we'll see you guys in the next one.